about it. Hey, I was having a conversation earlier, and I've had this conversation with some elders before, but it's like the conversation to be had is not really with the elders. It's more so with, can I go this way? I feel like I can go this way. Yes, I can. Um, the conversation I feel like needs to be had and understood more so with the younger generation and like my generation, millennials and stuff like pretty much millennials on down needs to understand this but I feel like us as a whole we probably won't until it's way too late and nobody has the resources to do anything about anything but I feel like I feel like the barter system is something that should have never went out of style but unfortunately the way that they have made this economy it's not totally off the table like it can still be done but again with the way that this economy has has evolved and with the way that <clears throat> we have put importance on money and everything like it's 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 gonna take a lot like it's gonna take a whole lot in order for us to get back to that place like everybody always talking about there should be a change there should be <clears throat> more people coming together and it's like <clears throat> what people fail to understand is like I understand that but I think that most of us are talking about it as one big group of us like everybody needs to be on the same accord type shit and it's like you have to understand that that may not be your reality it, your reality may be may very well be you just having a tight knit community of people around where you're at and I feel like it's it's almost like we hype ourselves up and then we t at the same time we tear ourselves down with this false hope feeling like well if everybody as a whole don't come together then we can't do anything but we could if we created those small communities of people right around us which would and, and successfully have it going to the point where it spreads amongst other people and then they have their communities and then you know they create their small tight knit communities like every community needs to have people in it that know how to do everything and that's the way that I feel like we are that's the only way I feel like we will really survive to be honest like every group needs to have that school teacher every group needs to have at least you know a, a couple of farmers maybe farmers who only do fruits and vegetables and grains and stuff like that and then farmers who do like the the, the farming of animals and butchering then we need our our healers inside of our community we need our electricians our hvac people our you know people would try our carpenter all this shit so that our barter system can actually work because again i feel like barter system is not off the table at all it just is a lot harder because of the way that we've evolved and what we put importance on and it's not i can't even sit here and lie and be like oh it's not our fault because it is because you have your own mind no matter what a person has told you no matter what has been passed down to your generations through generations you have your own mind sound mind if you just tap into it to understand the information that i'm talking about right now but we rather go with what's easy which is the masses oh well the masses is doing it like this the masses is doing it like that so we rather just fake the funk and keep it going with the masses instead of actually creating a, a small change that could come to that has the ability to create a bigger change in our communities and people so i feel like also people are scared to barter nowadays or in i'm not gonna say people because i feel like they're not really talking about it i feel like another thing that is like a downfall downfall to bartering or will make it what would make it hard is the fact that we're too busy feeling like if this person comes up then that's gonna dim my light when not understanding that no it's not going to dim your light in actuality. It's like really, really not. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. You want to open it? <laughs> it's really, really not going to dampen your light. You you trying to be so big on this grand scale and trying to have all these people know you in order to, to make some money, but you're not realizing that you could probably be a big thing in the community that you create worry about being a big thing in that community that you create amongst you and yours or amongst you and the people that have like thought processes but again we're so crab we have that crab in the barrel mentality outside of the crab in the barrel mentality we have the freaking cosplaying of 
a baddie and a high value this and a passport bro this and a, just all of that shit like that's what's really setting us back and people are not understanding that and then people feel like too with the barter system I feel like another part that would be a down for, or that's kind of like a con against the barter system right now is people be so quick to run out on you after you do a service for them instead of trying to see like hey I'd rather a person come to me honest and be like hey I need this done I need my hair done or I need this done I don't necessarily have the money to pay you I might be able to give you a little bit of money but I don't have enough is there anything that I can do for you this is what I know how to do this is what I know how to do is there anything that I could possibly do for you that would equal up to the compensation of you know what I'm supposed to give you and that's really tough again because do they have a skill that you can use that's good enough for you as it pertains to the barter system do they do they even possess a skill that's good enough then outside of that it's scary because you like well again if I do this for you right now how much are you gonna hold up that bargain how how do I know to trust you and know that you're gonna do the thing or come to me and 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 make up for it at the time that you said you was gonna do it the way people be running out on getting their nails done running out on getting their hair done one thing I ain't never seen is a dude run out on the barber I done seen plenty plenty females run out on getting their hair done but I ain't never seen a dude mess around and get his hair cut and try to skirt off on the barber I ain't seen that shit yet but <clears throat> that's another part of it people just want to get over and it's like instead of doing that why don't you try to help the person like for me for instance for me <clears throat> I'm an all-around healer that's just part of my purpose I'm an all-around healer spiritual healer um, I can help people heal their mental I can also help people heal their heal their physical right so for me anytime somebody does something for me especially when it comes to like working on my body or whatever or, or working on the body I'm like hey I used to be a licensed massage therapist. I'm not licensed anymore, but I, it doesn't mean that my skill set is gone. So for you doing this for me, can I do that for you? Like, I'm so ready to offer up my skills to somebody, especially people who work on my body with massage therapists. I'd be so ready to be like, look, massage for massage, massage for massage. Like, I can do that for you because I understand this job. I understand um, you know, everything that you go through and doing what you're doing. So let me give back to you. I, I might not be able to give you a tip. I might not be able to, to <clears throat> you know, to, to fully pay for Here, yeah, baby, I'll take it. I might not be able to fully pay for this massage. Maybe I can only give you $30 on this massage or whatever. But here's that. And outside of that, I'm going to make up for it by, by helping you with your body and keeping you keeping you going. You know what I'm saying? But again, that is hard because of the way that society has put money on this pedestal of like, you need money for everything. It's damn near if the person can't do something for you that keeps more money in your pocket, in a sense, you can't really barter. And that's why I feel like we need to have our own small communities, tight knit communities within communities of people that know how to do something that has some type of skill that I don't have and then I have a skill that they don't have and then we come together and do for each other. The only people that I know for a fact even still to this day that do that because it definitely worked way, 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 way back in the day. It definitely was a thing. But the only people I see still holding true to that is the older generation, like my dad. My dad is 50, 59, I believe he is. My dad's 59. His generation still do that. My dad still to this day does that. And there's a lot of people from his generation that still do that because that's just what they knew. It was it was something that they knew of their family doing and it just was generationally passed down in order for them to continue doing that. Even though money was starting to get big and people needed more and more money to do this and do that, it was like, hey... I got a skill like my dad my dad is an all-around man my dad will fix cars my dad goes fishing hunting he does the seasonal thing like that he he is into carpentry he does all of that so for him he's like hey if I can get this this out of you this is what I can I go fishing I'll make sure I hold you a bag of fish to the side yeah I might 
sell or whatever. You know, sometimes what I make or what I get. But for the most part, my dad will just give the fish away. I'm like, just give the shit away because he's like, well, such and such did this for me. You know what I'm saying? Such and such did this for me and I'm going to hold up my end of the bargain by doing this for them. I'm going to give this back to them because they did this for me. And I love that shit. And I wish, I really, really wish that that was a part of my generation moving forward. I feel like my generation, millennials, we know about it. But we came up in a time where it's really, really, really hard to do that because we're starting to separate. We're starting to move away. We're starting to, to you know do our own thing and not be so close to family and not be so close to people or trying to create families family dynamics outside of our family because shit was so fucked up and then that shit don't necessarily work all the time it will but it don't always work but again I feel like that is what really needs to happen especially with who just (laughs) got elected and I ain't into politics like that I'm really not because I understand fully that two things that you don't talk about with people is politics and religion because people just don't know how to handle that that debate in a sense and it's really not a debate it's just your your views and my views may not be the same and people don't know how to handle that so I don't talk about politics but again I understand certain shit and I pay attention to certain shit and I'm just like with the way things is going man I feel like we gonna eventually be phased out of buying food like stuff is gonna be so high it's gonna be too high to even buy food and then you're really going to be looking for that person who was who was really into purchasing that house and not only purchasing that house, yeah, baby, purchasing that house and having that land to go along with it so that they could do some, uh, so that they could do some, some growing up some food and all stuff like that and raising chickens and stuff so people could come over and get some eggs, get some corn, get some vegetables or whatever. You go, after a while, people going to be looking for that. And that's going to be few and far in between because a lot of people, again, with the the way the world is going and the the way in which people look at what is of value to them, it's more important to have this big old house, all these cars, all this land, not really have shit on your land like talking about. It's more important to have that for the aesthetic of it, but not to have it to sustain and to um, become almost like going into a sovereign citizen. It's not looked at as that. It's just looked at as I have this, so that means... When you pass by my shit, you know that by me having all this, you know I got money, which a lot of people don't have money when they got all that shit. It just, it's a look. You're welcome, baby. It's just a look. Oh, you done opened them bubbles up, girl. I figured you was going to do it, but I didn't think you was going to do it that fast. But yeah, that's what things have pretty much gone into. And it's just sad. It's really sad. Like, I wish that I could come up around a group of people. And I feel like that's another reason why I am in the place that I'm at right now with my kids, because a lot of that still goes on in this community where I live. So I feel like if I can have that tight group of people as I'm living here, being the new, the the generation that has coming up um, or whatever under the older generation, you know what I'm saying? The boomers and stuff like that. If I can create that where I'm at with the people that I know, then I can definitely keep it going. And as I continue to keep it going and, you know, people see it, maybe they will, somebody, it will spark something in somebody to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe a lot of times we don't like to post when we help people, like when people be helping the homeless and stuff like that, or when people be doing good stuff or whatever, sometimes they don't say it because they feel like, well, me blasting it is like me gloating about me doing something good. And then of course there comes the people well, why would you even show that you doing this? If you, if it really came from the heart, you wouldn't be putting it out there for everybody to see. But what y'all don't understand too, is sometimes by putting that out there, it, it garners more attention than what you could believe, what you could imagine. And it would possibly give you more help. I just like a lady, not too long. I swear to you, I can't make this up. A lady, not too long ago, who was in a dollar store and there was one person checking out and, you know, she called for another person to come to the front. Everybody was laughing because it was funny. And she called for another person. Hey, we need help up here. And she had some pans in her hand. And she was like, yeah, you know, I got to hurry up and get to the house or whatever because I got to do this. I got to start cooking this food because I go and feed the homeless or whatever. Now, anybody else from especially the younger generation, be like, why are you blasting what you do? Because she started giving a whole spiel of what she do every last Sunday of the month of what she do for homeless people. She's like, I set up over here. I cook different type of meals. I make sure I give them food. I make sure I I create 
uh, I, I put together bags for women and bags for men so they can have their little toiletries and all this stuff like that. Every last Sunday of the year, this, I mean, of the month, this is what I do. And by that lady just putting that out there, somebody in the line was like, that's a really good cause. God bless you. I'm so happy that somebody is doing something like that. You don't have to do that. You don't have no other outside resources coming in. She was like, I want to help you. And they, in that moment, they exchanged phone numbers. And she was like, yeah, she's like, I really appreciate you because I really do need help. She said, I'm just, it's a one woman show right now. She's like, every now and again, I get some help, but it's really a one woman show. Just by that lady putting that information out there like that, it garnered attention and it made somebody step up and say, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that mission because that's a really good mission. So a lot of times, like when we be putting stuff out there, as far as us helping the homeless and doing this and doing that for people who are less fortunate. Yes, yeah, some people be doing it just to get attention and they'll never do that shit again. But there are those of us who who are doing it and just would like would, are like, hey, if anybody else is out here who wants to help, come and help. This is when I'm going to do it. I'm not saying you got to help. But you can come and help and be a part of it and feel good about yourself. I did that before in my life. I didn't even, when I did it, I didn't, it, was, it wasn't a time anyway at the time when I did do it for you to just be putting your shit out there like that. So I, of course, wasn't recording anything. But me and my ex-wife, we did that. We got together. We went to McDonald's. We bought, what was it, 50 cheeseburgers. We put, both of us put in $25. We bought 50 cheeseburgers or whatever. And uh, we ended up going to the store buying uh things to make little bags for people that had toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, towel, uh little just little bitty knickknack things that a person would need when they out and about in these streets. And we just went and we gave it out whatever we had at our house. If we had old blankets, um old cl clothes that we was getting ready to give away, shoes, all of that stuff. We put it loaded up the back of the truck and we just went around the whole city. Any person that we saw looked like they was homeless. We stopped and we talked to that person and we gave them what they needed in that moment. And they was just, it was so many people that was just like, well, who are y'all affiliated with? We was like, what you mean? Well, what church is this? What? And we said, we ain't a part of nothing. We just doing it because we felt it was on our heart to just do that for people. And they were just so appreciative. And some people we got to talk to and learn their story. And other people we just gave it to said, hey, how you doing? Have a blessed life or whatever. I hope you stay strong out here. I know it's difficult times. Just giving them words of encouragement. And then we kept it pushing. And we did it till it was gone. We went, bought drinks and every, we I'm talking about we did it till it was gone. Okay, let me get out this pocket, baby. It is getting hot. But um, we did that and we wasn't looking for nothing from nobody in order to do it. We just, it was on us to do it. We ended up not doing it again. I wish we would have. We wanted to. But the way in which everything had kind of like played out with that relationship, I feel, is the reason why we really didn't do it anymore. But again, it was very rewarding. You ready? All right, let's go to the door. It was a very rewarding situation. It was very um, positive. I was just, I was just happy to be out there doing it, and I was happy to be out there to be of service to people who just need it. Because again, <coughs> two, when it comes to <clears throat> when it comes to homeless people, a lot of times people will tell you or try to um, inform you, hey, don't help none of these people. These people these people get checks like my dad I remember I said that when I was out here I was like I should go get some some lunch meat or whatever some bread when it's on sale and I should you know make sandwiches for these people he was like uh uh don't do that don't do that most of these people around here get a check and they 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 get a check so don't be out here spending your money on these people but I'm like that's on me that's on my heart I'm not gonna let you deter me from doing what I want to do with my money or with my time if that's something that I want to do, I feel like it's going to come back to me. No, I don't have a lot of money right now. Yes, I am still pretty much struggling and trying to get back on my feet after this situation that has happened that has me back at the bottom. But it, it's on me to help somebody. As much as I need help right now and as much as I don't have, as much as I would like to have, it's still on me to go out here and help somebody who has less than me. Because what I feel like that's doing is showing the world showing the universe showing just me even though I don't have a lot even though I'm struggling I'm still out here trying to help somebody else because baby I could be where they are 
And I should be thankful for the little bit that I do have, even though it's not much, because trust and believe there is somebody out here in these streets who doesn't have half or a quarter of the shit that I have and they wish and they did. So why not give back to those people if I can do it? Don't be mad at me because it's something that I want to do. I don't care if these people get a check. They can do whatever they want to do with that money. If it's on me to do it, baby, I'm going to do it. So I don't want to go too deep into that because I will. <laughs> I definitely will. Give me that cat food. But um, no, baby, get out the cat food. Come on. Take, go over there and go take your shoes off. Go sit down and go take your shoes off for mama, okay? Thank you. Yeah, you got your food. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep into that, but I just really wanted to harp on the situation of how important it is for, you know, us to really come together and stop thinking that we have to come together in this grand way or things are not going to get done unless everybody puts in the work or whatever. You could be the start of shit getting better for everybody. You just don't know the the power that you possess as a person. Sometimes all it takes is one person. And you sitting here thinking you nobody and you ain't got no reach and you ain't got no pull and you just don't even understand the amount of reach and pull you probably do possess if you just get your ass up and do it. So, again, I would love for that to be our reality as it pertains to the barter system. Um, I would definitely love for that to be our reality. Will it be our reality? I don't freaking think so. Could it possibly be the reality for um, small groups of people in our world? It definitely fucking can. It really, really can. It could. Is that a possibility? That's always a possibility. I just wish that it was a possibility on a larger scheme, meaning somebody was started right now, and somebody probably already has. Pretty sure. Like how they have Dr. Umar talking about building the school and all these different people talking about building the school. If we created communities around that and had people who was meaning what they say and saying what they mean type of situation, and I'm not saying he not, I'm just, you know, I'm just using him as a reference, but a lot of people don't really like him or the things he stands for, what he do with the money that they give, so I don't really know, I ain't going to get into that. But if we had one person who had the resources to do that, and that's a start, and then we build around that, okay, we got a school. Now these people, we got people on our team who know how to build shit. So these people are going to build this supermarket. And these, these people over here who farm the fruits and vegetables, they're going to be the ones running the supermarket or whatever. They're going to be the ones p- putting the food into the supermarket. Then that person over there do farming, but they got animals and, and cattle and all of this stuff. So they're going to do the butchering. You know what I'm saying? Or they're the other person who has the animals that provides it to the butcher that we got. And then now we got these small communities of these homes in this area and everybody in this whole town. What We don't even work off of money. We barely work off of money. We have an abundance of money in our community, but when I tell you every dollar that we got pretty much goes back into making everything that we got going on work, baby, we will be a powerful source of people. We will be so powerful, and people just don't understand that, and it it pains me. It reminds me of when I first got into my spiritual journey, and I was learning all these things, and I just wanted people to get it so bad, to just open their eyes up and just understand the trickery and all the shit that's been going on in this world. I just wanted people to get it so bad. But I had to take a step back and understand just because the calling was on me and on my life and I got it doesn't mean it's going to be there for everybody. Does not mean it's going to be like that for everybody. So I have to be okay with the fact that and be okay and thankful for the fact that it came upon me. I can put the message out there. Whoever gravitates towards the message will gravitate towards it. Whoever doesn't, don't. There may be some people who hear the message right now and don't gravitate towards it until way, 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 sometimes away from now. It could be that situation where my thing is as long as they got it. No, they might have not got it from me, but they heard it from me way back when, and now they're ready. Maybe they wasn't ready when I was talking about it, but maybe they're ready now. But at least it was on their mind. They're like, wait a minute, I remember when old girl was talking about such and such and da-da-da-da-da. Bam, there you go. So... Put the information out there. Put the information out there. You can be as passionate as you want to be about the information, but don't force anybody to do anything. Don't tell people this is what they got to do. This is what they better do. This is how we're going to make things better. If people don't do this, we go, everything going to go to ish. No, just put the information out there, and those who are supposed to hear it are going to hear it. Those who are supposed to gravitate towards it are going to gravitate towards it. Those who are supposed to understand it are going to understand it. 
But we don't pressure nobody to do everything because one thing I do know for sure is everybody in this time is not going to get it. Everybody is not going to get it. And for the people who do get it, for all of those people who don't, that should be an exact representation of what things could look like if we don't come together knowing the information that we know. Because once you know better, you should do better. But if you choose to not do that, that's on you. Ain't no bad blood between me and you. It is what it is. Ah, 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 don't put that in there. Don't do that, girl. Yeah. Don't do that. That's electricity. I love put the information out there. Whoever don't get it, don't get it. Whoever get it, get it. But again, that should be representation to show you if you keep playing around, this is what you're going to end up like. We don't need no light, baby. It's good up in here. It's natural. So, yes. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I got some stuff to do. But... Baby girl, baby boy, <laughs> grown ass man, grown ass woman. All I'm doing is putting the information out there. Like I said, whoever's supposed to get it is going to get it. Now I got to go.